Rahim. These are the common mistakes that we make while writing our proposal. If we can avoid these mistakes, we can write a very structured, very commendable, very comprehensive, very acceptable proposal. Now I'm not I, I haven't taken these mistakes all by myself. I today consulted uh, two senior lecturers, one assistant professor, uh, one working in Australia, one working in uh, New Zealand, one working in Swinburne University and he will uh, hopefully join us for, a, uh, for some sessions as well and uh, another uh, uh, working in Messi, uh, New Zealand and they helped me identify these 10 to 12 mistakes that are common and that can be avoided. Now replication. Do not replicate a study. If some study has been done in America, you can't just use that particular study and do it in, in Pakistan. This is There is no contribution whatsoever of this kind of study. So replication is no contribution. Again, there is a video on contribution, a detailed video on what is contribution. Lack of coherence in the problem statement objectives and research questions. Your problem statement is saying something else, your research questions are saying something else and your research, uh, sorry, research objectives are saying something else and your research questions are saying something else. So there is a lack of coherence. They are not flowing from each other. Your research objectives should flow from your problem statements, just as we did earlier. Or the, uh, there are videos available where have, I have mentioned, okay, this is how problem statement flows into objectives and how objectives flows into research questions. So there is should be proper coherence between the three. You fail to identify the gaps and limitations in existing research. You have just mentioned, okay, this particular area I am interested in and this particular area is very important and this is my research problem statement, this is my research objectives and these are my research questions and that's it. Well, this is not research. This won't be accepted. So you need to properly identify the gaps and limitations in existing research. Lack of support. Yes, you have mentioned the gaps. You have mentioned, okay, there is very little research on uh, this particular concept. Or you have mentioned that this variable should be studied as a mediator, as a moderator, maybe as an independent, maybe as, de as dependent, but you fail to write proper support or you fail to provide proper support to your argument as to why this particular variable should be studied. You have mentioned it, okay, why this should be important, but you fail to support it with your with proper reference. Even if you write, okay, this is why this particular variable should be studied and you fail to support it, then this is very weak. This is my idea again. Uh, this is uh, you, you can't say and go on to your supervisor or examiner and say, well, this is my idea. This is what I think. Yes, it is important what you think. But again, most importantly, in, apart from saying that this is my idea, you have to support your idea with comprehensive, concrete evidence from existing literature. Lack of theory or theoretical positioning and theoretical positioning. You've got a very good idea. You have written uh, a proposal, but you fail to identify what theory you are going to use to establish relationship between variables. Or there is lack of theoretical support for your arguments. Or you have used a wrong theory to explain the relationship between variables. Where I should have used or social identity theory to assess the impact of corporate social responsibility on employee identity, I have used social learning theory or maybe social exchange theory. Maybe you, you, you might provide some kind of argument, but this is wrong. So you have to identify proper theory that can be positioned in your research. How to do it? Use existing literature. See what that theory, that particular theory says and see whether that theory has been used with this particular variable that you are interested in. Even if it's not used with that particular variable when you read through the theory you can provide suitable justification as to why this theory can be used to establish these relationships and then again show it to experts so that they can tell you yes you have used the theory in the right manner causal explanation in terms of theory now if you are explaining something it's not that just like describe the theory 
you have to explain how this theory would help explain the relationship between the variables it's not enough just to describe that okay we have used this theory this is no contribution you have to explain why this theory can be useful in explaining the relationship between these variables how do how do i know how to write this again read papers and take notes your study failed to mention study contributions you have written a very good introduction but you failed to mention the contributions of your study now there are no theoretical or practical implications of your study so failure to do so obviously will will it's it's a very common mistakes that people do that get their projects or their research proposal rejected so you have to mention what are the theoretical implications of this study what are you going to contribute or what have you contributed or what will you contribute to the theory how this research will help practitioners lack of operationalization i have written a very good proposal but i have i am i haven't defined the concepts that i am going to study i haven't mentioned this is how i am going to define the concepts obviously when you fail to define the concepts you fail to properly measure the concepts because you are always measuring the concepts in light of the operationalization oper operationalization you did let me give you a simple example let's say i want to study social responsibility in universities i haven't given any definition and i come across this this scale by carol and you know what the 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 scale by carol the the one dimension in carol scale is economic dimension but i want to study social responsibility in universities i cannot use economic dimension in my study why because universities are not economic entities but if you fail to understand the concept if you fail to operationalize the concept you mistakenly obviously use that particular construct in your study you collect the data and once you have the data you are now in trouble you can't drop that construct you can't use that construct because your examiners would say well this or economic dimension cannot be part of a university because universities are not economic entities there's lack of structure and format i'm going to show you an example for this as well lack of clarity in research methodology whether you are going for qualitative or quantitative i've come across proposal where scholars have mentioned they are going to use qualitative me uh, methodology and in the end there was a proper questionnaire so you do not know what qualitative or quantitative is no indication of how research participants or companies will be selected how are you going to select your sample this is particularly important what's your sample frame how are you going to access them incorrect identification of analysis technique uh, just as i gave an example earlier you fail to identify what proper analysis technique you are going to utilize you say you are going to do paired sample t test but you haven't got data before and after situation it's 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 a cross sectional data not longitudinal data or maybe any other analysis technique you are going to say you are saying that you are going to use exploratory factor analysis but you you should not use exploratory factor analysis because you are your instruments are are coming ex from the literature from all they are already established scales so you should go directly to cfa to give you an example of uh, a research proposal i got this this proposal uh, i was working with a professor in uh, italy uh, sorry spain and uh, he asked me would i be uh, a co supervisor for this particular uh, proposal and uh, he sent me this proposal for review now have a look at this proposal this is not to demean or de degrade anyone because there is no name so that's one thing look at this proposal this is how the proposal was sent to him there is no title page for support and circular economy model this title does not tell you anything about the research uh, what what the research is all about it does not tell you okay is there any impact what type of studies it it is going to be what variables will be the part of the study it looks like an essay rather than uh, a research proposal the introduction okay starts with a whole paragraph with a reference at the end this is annotated bibliography this is just a narration same is the case with this one 
Now again the scholar just jumps into the purpose and aims without identifying the rationale for this study. What are the gaps in the existing research? What are the limitations of the existing research? So the scholar just jumps directly into the purpose and aims and even the purpose and aims are not clear. Designing paths in standardized and modular form to facilitate the process of recycling again okay so it's a it's a contrived study so they they, they might be obviously uh, thinking of changing what's happening on the ground so these are the objectives they rather look like recommendations rather than study objectives now what's the target population our research our research obviously it's it's our means more than one person would analyze consumer acceptance in low income middle income and high income consumers across eu well this particular person it wants to study the whole of eu is this possible eu has got like maybe say more than 30 countries now i think if i'm wrong i don't know although i've, I've spent time in england but i don't know how many countries are in there so data collection will be done through surveys structured interviews experiments action research and ethnography how many techniques like he included or she included any technique that 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 he got or she got hold of this is not literally possible then they are they are there is a questionnaire how did you get this questionnaire this is something that is looks like a qualitative research but here it it was mentioned service so again then again the literature i can go on and on so but these are research methodology so what is okay these are the independent variables so what are the other variables in your study if these are the independent variables this is work plan again uh, doesn't make any sense references look at the references doesn't make any sense whatsoever very few references uh, with uh, no identification of the journal the volume the issue and things like that you do not send a proposal like this to your supervisor let alone you are sending it for a scholarship in spain so be cautious of these things avoid making these mistakes thank you very much now i'm going to take your